We've seen it in many counties, long lines stretching down streets and around buildings, and it's not even election day. This is what it looks like today at voting locations across the metro. The Secretary of State's office says Georgia is seeing record turnout for the first day of early voting. Some waited many hours to cast their ballot, but a lot of people shared the same sentiment, better to wait now than on November 3rd. Two and a half, three hours. <laughs> We were probably in line for maybe about three hours. The wait was about three hours. Three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. about three and a half hours. Well, definitely definitely, definitely when it was election, election day, day and we didn't want like, you know, life to get away from us and like, you know, risk coming out later in the month. Some of the longest wait times we've been hearing about have been at Cobb County's main polling location on Whitlock Avenue in Marietta. We're told there were only about 10 voting machines up and running there throughout the entire day. Wait times posted online varied from five even to eight hours. You know, I think people are just really ready to vote, and it doesn't matter how long it takes, we will stand in line to vote. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the most important part. We're voting like our life depends on it. <laughs> It is an endurance event today, Aisha. Cobb County election officials tell us everyone in line at 7 p.m. can stay as long as they need to to be able to cast their vote. The Secretary of State's office is telling people to expect these long lines and reminding them that early voting is open for three weeks. You also have the option to vote absentee or in person on Election Day, of course. But it's not just the high turnout that's causing delays out there tonight, Cheryl. At State Farm Arena, Fulton County's largest voting location, things are running smoothly now. But earlier today, the county said a technical glitch prevented people from voting. Joe Hankey has been talking to voters at several polling sites today all around Fulton County. He's live for us tonight outside the polls at Ponce de Leon Library, Joe. Well, Aisha, I talked with voters at, as they left the library this morning, and they told me their wait was about two to three hours, but that is what they told me they expected today with all the excitement around the first day of early voting. Plus, today is Columbus Day, meaning some people had the day off work so they could head to the polls during that time. The biggest problem, as you mentioned a moment ago, appears to be that glitch inside State Farm Arena. The line of anxious voters this morning stood still, and some even grabbed a seat inside State Farm Arena. The line didn't move for the first 45 minutes or so. I heard the machines were down. The issue at this polling location, not with the 300 voting booths making this the largest polling location in the state, but the 60 poll pads used to check in voters. Richard Barron, Fulton County's elections director, says they are still investigating why the poll pads did not work for around 45 minutes, but says there was an issue with the voter database file installed on the pads. And so we re imported the file to all of the poll pads here in order to correct it. Once fixed, the size of this site allowed poll workers to clear the line of voters in under an hour. It should run smooth here. We can probably get five to 10,000 a day here at State Farm easily. They got your information, and we went in the big old arena with all the, the voting booths, and it was easy. At the High Museum in Midtown, one voter said her two hour wait could have been avoided with more voting booths. A lot of people are here ready to vote, mm -hmm. understandably so. Um, but it took way too long. In West Atlanta at CT Martin, voters told us they waited a couple hours in line and didn't have any issues once inside. I just wanted to get it out of the way, and uh, I did, and I feel really, really good about it. And at Ponce Library, we heard similar comments from a socially distanced line of voters snaking through the parking lot and a couple blocks down the sidewalk. I'm, I'm smiling under my mask right now. It, it, it's so great to see so many people, so like just such a diverse group of people out here voting today. And Fulton County opened 32 early voting locations today. That's more than Gwinnett, Cobb, and DeKalb counties combined. Richard Barron with the county tells me the goal is to have 80% of people that plan to cast a ballot, either do it through early voting or by absentee ballots. If they can accomplish that, he believes on Election Day on November 3rd, they'll have just a steady flow of voters instead of long lines and long wait times. We'll send it back to you in studio. All right, thank you, Joe. In the last 30 minutes, I checked social media. A lot of people saying that State Farm has been extremely smooth, so hopefully that glitch is all good now. 11 Alive is dedicated to making sure your vote counts. Our voter access team is working nonstop to address your concerns and answer any questions you may have out there. That's how we first learned of the problems today in Fulton County, straight from you. 
If you want to share how your voting experience went, you can email us at whereatospeaks at 11alive.com or text us directly at 404-885-7600. We also have a voter resource guide over set up for you, 11alive.com slash vote, where you can find a list of early voting locations by county, along with all the links to the counties that are offering the wait times online.